like to call to order the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners <clears throat> regular meeting for January 22nd, uh, 2020. Roll call. President Zipfel. Here. Vice President Rogers. Here. Commissioner Andrus. Here. Commissioner Lees. Here. Commissioner Zimmerman. Here. I would like to ask uh, a volunteer um, uh, who is recognized tonight for many, many years of services, Bob Lanuet, to, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, uh, indivisible. All right, before we get to that recognition, we have some housekeeping uh, items. Is there a motion for approval of tonight's agenda? So moved. Motion, um, motion by Vice President uh, Rogers. Second. Second by uh, Commissioner Lees. Um, any questions or comments? Hearing none, I'll call the question all in favor of approving tonight's agenda, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. And we can move forward. First item, consent items. Is there a motion to move the consent items into the record? Motion by Commissioner Andrus. Second. Second by Commissioner Zimmerman. For those of you who are watching and also with us, these consent items include the Board of Commissioners reorganization meeting minutes of January 6, the Board of Commissioners workshop meeting minutes of January 8, the Treasurer's report for the month of January, and the bills payable, paid bills in the amount of $401,258.52, and unpaid bills in the amount of $463,339.37. With that, I'll call the question. All in favor of moving those items into the record, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, those are moved into the record. All right, folks, any consent items on agenda items? Just on agenda items only. All right, we don't have any of that. Uh, uh, any uh, comments with regard to agenda items? But we do have a very special uh, recognition tonight, and I would ask that uh, Bob Lanuet, if you would join me over at the podium. Um, we are uh, recognizing you tonight for uh, many, many years of volunteerism and service to Hatfield Township. Actually, I'm going to hand the, uh, the microphone over to uh, Commissioner Andrus, who is going to begin with a few words. Yes. So. Um Bob, not everyone can make it tonight, so John asked me to say a few words on his behalf. Um, John met Bob when he was 16, working as a maintenance kid at the uh, old pool. He asked me a bunch of questions that I had no idea how to answer. But I tried, and he sensed right away I had no idea what I was talking about, and let me know it, but in a way that was very respectful at the time. And then he says, uh, that's what I love about Bob. He can sift through the nonsense and is always honest and to the point. He kept me on my toes at the pools, pool years ago and these last six years at the Aquatic Center. I missed the pool board meetings with him, his guidance and advice with running a public pool, and hope he continues to stop by the pool for a chat. John's comments. So I'm gonna steal a little bit of Tom's thunder because I think Tom does a very good job of recognizing um, individuals from the township. So Bob, you've been a resident since 1983, um, been a volunteer since uh, 2000 and are still a member of the EAC and the Colmar uh, Volunteer Fire Department. And so I, I think what residents need to know is, you know, it's not the five members of the board that get this township running, running smoothly. It's volunteers that commit an awful lot of time and service to the community. And so the time that I was going to the pool of our three board meetings, I appreciate your input and we'll miss you there. But we hope that, uh, all of us hope, that you continue to have a, a long, healthy, and happy return. Thank you for uh, your service. All right, so a uh, couple of additional comments. Um, I've known Bob for many years. He actually lives in my ward. And I will tell you, and I've been a commissioner for long enough to know uh, that exactly what the, uh, Commissioner Andrews just said, this town runs on volunteers and the staff. That's who does the heavy lifting. And if there is any one person that I can think of who is an unsung hero in this township, it's Bob. And I say that because when I first met him, he was already on multiple boards and very active in the community. And then uh, for years I was on civil service and then I recognized how many other 
uh, items he was involved in, how many other activities w he was involved in. Um, and then I became a commissioner and realized that he, I think, has held a position on almost every major volunteer group that we have had over the years. And the proclamation that I'm about to read will recognize that. So um, I, I, I guess there's really no other way to say it other than you are probably, if not our best, certainly, I mean, longest running, you are certainly our best volunteer in Hatfield history as long as I've been in the township. And that's been a you know, almost a quarter century now, 25 years. So because of that, uh, and many other reasons. We have a proclamation and we wanted to recognize you. Our proclamation uh, reads as follows. Whereas the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners desires to recognize Robert Lanuet for his service to the Hatfield community. And whereas Robert Lanuet has been a resident of Hatfield Township since 1983. Whereas Robert Lanuet served as a member of the Parks Commission from 2000 until 2006. Whereas Robert Lanuet served on the Pool Advisory Board from 2006 until 2019 serving as the chair for many of those years, whereas Robert Lanuet served on the Civil Service Commission from 2010 until 2018, whereas Robert Lanuet is currently serving on the Environmental Advisory Board, which he has been a member since 2013, whereas Robert Lanuet currently serves as a member of the Calmer Volunteer Fire Company. I forgot to mention that as well. And whereas Robert Lanuet's leadership guidance has helped to establish the Hatfield Aquatic Center as the premier public swimming pool in Montgomery County. Therefore, be it proclaimed, in accordance with the foregoing, that the Board of Commissioners of Hatfield Township does hereby endorse this proclamation as recognition to Robert Lanuet for his commitment and dedication to Hatfield Township. Congratulations and thank you for many, many years of service. Robert, I just want to say uh, thank you to the board, uh, the pool board. They've been with us uh, for a long time. Sandy, Jen, Caitlin. Becky and Mike. Mike's on Mike's front desk. He, he keeps everything running up there. Um, and also for your guidance. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, other than that, um, it's been great. And uh, I really didn't have anything to talk about, so I don't want to, I, I don't like um, getting this kind of stuff, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, board. Bob, don't go away yet. I think the pool advisory board wants oh. to present you with something. <laughs> Much of we oh, thank you. <laughs> that you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. Before we take photographs, I also want to thank Bob's wife who is here because <laughs> I forget every once in a while because we are so focused on the volunteer, but you know, many people who uh, have uh, a spouse who volunteers also knows that they're giving as well in a very similar manner because their spouse has left, they're not at the house, uh, they're probably missing things that uh, your wife wishes that you had been at for many years. So I want to thank you on behalf of Hatfield Township. And if you would join us for some photographs up front. She will not. She, won't. she will not? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> well we're, we're not. <clears throat> Can I just want to get a picture? Pull virus report, Tom. Okay. Commissioner, just quickly, that, 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 that picture of Bob's probably going to be the first. I, I told him I went through the archives this morning uh, in the basement. I thought for sure I'd find an embarrassing picture of him from the, the <laughs> 90s or something, but there's no pictures of, of Bob anywhere. Not on Facebook, not on 
until tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> so two things from what Aaron just said. First is that um, I'm not surprised by that because when I said unsung here, I mean it. He is the, one of the people who's doing all the hard work and not looking to stand in the limelight. The second thing is the fact that you just referenced the 90s as being a long time ago is troubling to me <laughs> and a number of, number of other people who were born more than a few years before the 90s. But, <laughs> but Bob, thank you for, for everything. We greatly appreciate it. All right, we have three action items tonight, and the first one is sort of a big deal, I would say. So, uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to let Aaron walk us through this one, but first, is there a motion to award the bid to Blooming Glen contractors in the amount of $1,805,071.16 paid for by a grant for PennDOT for the Calpath and Orvilla, Orvilla Road realignment project? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Andrus, second by Vice President Rogers. Aaron, would you like to walk us through this one? Yeah, sure, Mr. President. Not much to say tonight. We've been talking about this project for 20 years, and, and truthfully, the, you know, the hero of this project happens to be in the room here in the back hiding. Um, but it's because of Anton that, that we're here in McMahon Associates who secured all of the funding uh, f for this project. So I'm, he's actually here for another meeting that we're having this evening, so, but I'm glad he's here for this motion because it was all his work that uh, was able to bring the money into the township and design it and uh, make this moment happen. So hopefully in a, in a few weeks, we'll be meeting with the contractor for a pre-construction meeting and then we'll have a better uh, sense of the time frame at the next meeting. And when I report back um, to let everyone know when dirt will be moving and when we'll have a, fix, a fixed and safer uh, intersection out there. I'm going to predict that this is probably one of the most recognized improvements that we will make probably certainly in the last 10 years, probably even longer than that. So um, any questions or comments or fanfare confetti that anybody wants to throw? I just want to point out that um, a lot of planning went by the staff as well in terms of the road and how I thought the staff did a very good job of working with those homeowners and allowing them to uh, leave gracefully and on good terms. Also, uh, we purchased, what was, that, what was that there, a gas station next yeah. to Vinny's? We did. We purchased that, what, five, six years ago? At least. Roughly, yep. A lot of planning on, our, on the township's part and staff uh, to put that in motion, which enabled us to uh, achieve this. Uh, getting. There's been a lot of moving parts to this project, but I think the most telling statistic and the most important piece of information is that in the last five years, there's been 60 documented accidents. There's been many um, near fatal accidents. Thankfully, there weren't any, but uh, there's countless near misses that occur probably to all of us on a weekly basis there. So the commissioners are able to fix a, a problem. And uh, I think a lot of people are eager to see this happen. All right. With that, I will call the question. All in favor of the motion to award the bid to Blooming Glen as identified in the agenda, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Action item number two. There's a motion to appoint former Commissioner Laura Thomas to the civil service, uh, civil service appointment as an alternate for the term of January 22nd, uh, 20, uh, 2020 to uh, December 31st of uh, 2025. So moved. Uh, motion by Commissioner Lees. Second. Second by Commissioner Andrus. Uh, I'm happy to see that uh, we promised that we were going to keep her involved, and we quickly did, so we're happy to see that she accepted this appointment. Uh, with that, I'll call the question. All in favor of this uh, appointment say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. And last, North Penn Hospital. Is there a motion for resolution 20-02? Is there a motion for approval with regard to the North Penn Hospital Education Authority refinancing transaction? Motion by Commissioner Andrus. Second. Second by, um, by, Vice, by Vice President Rogers. I still have to get used. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, did you say Bob? I was about to say just Bob. <laughs> but I didn't want to call you Vice President Bob. <laughs> but if that's okay with you, it'll make it easier. All right, with that, I'm going to hand the uh, baton over to Aaron. I think he's going to walk us through this. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we, we've seen a bunch of these come through uh, in the recent years, not as much as, as the Hatfield used to years ago. Uh, Hatfield has two financing authorities, one the IDA, the Industrial Development Authority, this is the other one. These are groups that are appointed by the commissioners here 
um, that serve in this volunteer capacity. What's important to note to the residents listening or, or anybody paying attention to this is that the, the funding for these transactions actually comes from a bank, in this case, Univest. The authority acts as a conduit, which allows then the applicant to get a tax-free, low-interest loan um, to perform renovations on a building. This one specifically is for refinancing in Horsham at the Quaker School. So in order to qualify, there's several different criteria set forth by the state. And the, one of the major ones is that it, it must be a nonprofit. Um, and then the actual projects themselves then would have to qualify as well. So what's important to, to note is that there's zero liability to the township. There's no money uh, being transacted by the township. There's no public money involved in this whatsoever. Um, the other important, important note is that then the transaction generates a fee, which then goes back to this authority as well as the IDA, which is then reinvested into the Hatfield community. It was only probably three, four months ago. We had this authority board in the room thanking them for the $50,000 donation that went toward building Frick's Trail, as well as upgrading the employee fitness center in the basement of the township building. So we've seen over the years tangible investment back into our community from this and the IDA board. Many re renovations of the police department were paid for by the IDA, or most recent ones with the detectives and the renovation at the public works garage was paid for by the IDA. So all uh, improvements we're able to make without a dime of, of taxpayer money being spent uh, through these transactions. So uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice feature to have, and Hatfield happens to have too, and uh, we benefit from it greatly. All right, any questions or comments? All right, hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 20-02 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Citizens' comments, any other citizens' comments on agenda items or otherwise? All right, if not, I need to announce that uh, the board is going to meet in executive session this evening to discuss litigation. And with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. By Commissioner Andrews, second by Commissioner Zimmerman. All in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thanks for coming out, folks. <laughs>